So welcome back everyone now there are few settings on windows 11 that you should change right now to get optimized performance for gaming on windows 11 and luckily you don't need to be a rocket scientist to apply these changes so without any delay let's quickly get started now number one is the game mode option now game mode has been available since windows 10 and was being carried over to windows 11. according to the microsoft entering the game mode increases your frame rate and makes a more consistent gaming experience so just make a right click on the windows icon go to settings from the left hand menu option you have to click on gaming here you will find the game mode and it says optimize your pc for the play click on it and enable the game mode on here now additionally i would recommend you that go back you will find the game bar option and if you really don't need the game bar then go ahead and disable this and now next i would also recommend you to disable the windows 11 memory integrity option now according to microsoft memory integrity ensure that if your pc is infected malicious software won't be able to access high security processes unfortunately it might cause the performance issues on your machine so if you enjoy the core hard gaming on your pc and you are more concerned about the performance then you will have to disable the core integrity option so again it's very simple you can click on your windows search type core and in the suggestion you will be getting the core isolation click on it and in the core isolation you will be getting the memory integrity option just go ahead and disable this click on yes and this will require a restart so once you are done with each and every optimization you can go ahead and finally restart your computer all right so now let's move with the third optimization where you have to disable the virtual machine platform now virtualization allow for the emulation of other operating system like android and the linux but the downside of this flexibility is that it could slow down the gaming experience so if you are not using any kind of emulator then you can go ahead and disable this and you can do this by clicking on your windows search type turn windows and you will be getting turn windows feature on or off in the suggestion click on it now here you have to scroll down and somewhere you will find virtual machine platform here it is once you get it just uncheck this option then you will have to click on ok now it will be looking for the required file and it will be applying the changes and it will be disabled from your windows 10 or windows 11 and now next you also need to optimize your power settings now power settings have been a core part of the windows since windows xp however most windows 11 system come with their power set to the balanced by default but you need to change this to high performance or the best performance for getting the more extra performance for your gaming so again you can right click on the windows icon click on settings click on system then you have to look for the power click on it now here in the power mode it says optimize your device based on power use and performance so if you are really concerned about the gaming and you're not concerned about the battery uh, saving like in case if you are on a laptop and you are not concerned about the battery backup then from the drop down you will have to select best performance this is a very important tweak that you have to change from your windows 10 or windows 11. next you also need to manage your background application as many background applications start up with your pc while many of them are harmless some of them can significantly impact your gaming experience so depending on how much of your system resources are being used a background application can lead to the frame stuttering or even hangs and crashes so again you can come to the settings from the left hand menu option you have to click on apps then click on startup now here it will list you all kind of application that basically start along with your computer and whichever you don't want that it should come along with the computer that you can manually open whenever you want to you have to go ahead and disable it so many kind of bloatware like mobile devices phone link onedrive steam third-party application whatsapp you have to go ahead and disable them because these are the application that you can manually open whenever you need it all right now next you have to go with a very basic tweak that is updating your operating system and all kind of drivers and software update now drivers are necessary to get your operating system talking with its peripherals like your hardware and you should try to keep your drivers for windows 11 updated as much as possible as some hardware like your graphic card your network card will need frequent update to ensure that you don't get a slowdown in the performance 
So what you can do in the settings only from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on Windows update. And here you can see I have few update available. So I can click on check for update and whichever updates are available, I will go ahead and update it. Now after that, you can come down and you find advanced option. Click on it. And then in the additional option, you will be getting the optional update. Again, click on it. And here if you find any kind of update available, kindly go ahead and update it. And many time, majority of the time you will get it. And that will basically relate it to any kind of hardware drivers. All right. So if there is any available, select download and install them. All right. So now next you also need to disable the unwanted animation. Now Windows 11 comes along with many kind of animation. And I believe that many of the people, they basically don't need it. And if you are really concerned about the gaming, then you will have to go ahead and disable all the unwanted animation. Very simple. You will have to click on your Windows search. Type sysdm.cpl. Hit the enter key. This will bring up the system properties. Here from the top menu option, you will have to click on advanced. Under the performance here, you will have to click on settings. Now this will be selected to let Windows choose what best for my computer or adjust for best appearance. Now you have to select adjust for best performance. And you will find that all these animations are being unchecked. Now only we have to enable few of them that are basically required for us. Like animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. Show thumbnail instead of icon. And smooth edges of a screen font. That's it. Click on apply and click on OK. Alright, so now we are only remaining with the final step where we have to add our favorite game to the high graphic performance. So click on your window search again, type graphic, then click on graphic settings and here you have to look for your game and you can see that I enjoy the Valorant game and I have already added here. But in case if you don't find your game here, then you can click on browse. Now you will have to locate to the location of your game and in order to find the location of your game, just click on your window search, type the name of the game. So let's say if I want to add the Valorant or Roblox. I will type Roblox, then I have to look for the Roblox player. I will right click on it, click on open file location. Again, I will right click on it and click on open file location. Now I will come to the Roblox exact location. Now I can copy the path from the top, right click on it and choose copy. Then you can close it. Come back to the graphics page, paste the path at the top, hit the enter key. Select Roblox player launcher.exe and this can be any of your game like Fortnite or the Roblox or the Valorant, whichever you want to enjoy. Follow the same instruction, select, click on add. And once the game get added here, then you will have to click on options and choose the high performance from here. All right, then click on save and that's it. Now you're all done. Go ahead and restart your computer. And I'm very sure from the next time you will find the great change. You will enjoy the best performance along with the high FPS and avoiding many kind of lagging and stuttering problem. So hopefully guys you found the information useful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.